Hello fairy friends, it's Caroline from the Fairy Nice Trading Company and I am here again this week with yet another bit of fairy fun and magical adventure with your fairy door. Um, so this week I have moved from the living room where I have my own um, fairy door for my my little girls and I've moved into the office um, because I need a bit more space for today's magical adventure um, because it's a slightly larger slightly more complicated scene so um, in here I've got a, a bit of a setup where I do my photos and um, so I'm going to use that instead this makes it a little bit more <laughs> logistically complicated um, because it's a bit harder for me to place the camera on the desk so you can see it without seeing all the other junk that's in my office. So you might have to bear with me a little bit, but I will do my best. Okay, so today's magical adventure is... We are going to the very nice May Fair. So... Um, I don't know about you, but I've got quite a lot of memories um, of being a child and going along to those sort of country fairs or summer fairs held by your school in a playing field or on the village green or that sort of thing. I don't know whether that's a particularly English, particularly British thing, whether other countries do that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, when I was young, especially because my dad was on a the chairman of the PTA, much to my embarrassment. So um, we were always sort of there helping set up or clear up. And so I've got a lot of memories of doing things like that, going around the different stalls where you get like handmade cakes and jams and little crafts and things and seeing displays of dancing, country dancing, maypole dancing, um, dog agility sometimes <laughs> randomly and horse rides pony rides and fairground attractions and coconut shies and lots of games where you had to throw hoops and things over um over sticks or you know hook a duck that sort of thing so for me that was sort of summer childhood fun and that is the sort of thing that I like to recreate with my fairy door because in a way it's like connecting back to my own memories it's giving myself just something with the fairy door as well as something that I know is going to absolutely delight my children so as I said this is a slightly more complicated scene I'm going to check so I've started it up already um, and I'm just going to show you so here we go here is our Mayfair we've just started setting up um, so what do you always have at the fair you always have a welcome sign so here we've got the very nice Mayfair welcome sign above the fairy door. Who is eagle-eyed enough to spot that we've got a new door here? This is our brand new flower wall fairy door and this will be available on our website from the 1st of May. So you're having a sneak early peek at it. Um, she's got some sisters They'll also be coming, but she's so pretty and so summery with all her beautiful blooms up there on the door that I thought I just couldn't resist putting her in today. Now, I'm just going to set you down for a moment so I can use my hands. I hope this isn't going to fall off. So there you go. You have a look at the door. I am just going to find the signs for you. So here we have the printable signs um, and you can see ooh, turn it out so there's the one that goes above the door so I've made all these printable signs for you and um, they're available either with the ebook that I've done um, about this little scene so that you've got all the exact setup um, they're in a little book for you to walk you through it you can either get them they come free with that or you can find these in the fairy circle at the moment if you are a member and you just print them off onto the white card as I showed you here onto this white card and then you can cut them out and there's all the little signs that I've used around here so you can see I've put the welcome sign above the door I've got a little sign here that says roll up, roll up, 
every fairy well. Come on, I've just popped that next to my tree. And then we've got, oh, everybody wants an ice cream when they go to the fair, don't they? So a little uh, note about you getting a free ice cream when you come to the fair with your invitation. And I'll show you the invitation in a minute. Um, so the other thing that you always have when you go to the fair is you always have a picnic. So fairies love a picnic. And so you can see we've set up our little picnic here. So yeah, I'm just going to put you down so I can... Yeah, And we've got the little picnic sign here, picnic area this way. You can put that wherever you like, wherever your picnic goes. And what I've used here is the... Um, picnic accessory set magical picnic accessory set which brand new is now coming in with a white teapot and a slightly different chocolate cake you can also get it with a blue teapot they all come with a picnic rug the little basket four of these little cups a teapot and a cake and what do you need in the sun a little fairy sun hat we'll prop that there against the toadstool and we'll put another little cup of tea up there I think just to show that whoever was wearing that hat's been having a tea and also you also get in the set a little newspaper because when you're on a picnic you don't want to do much do you, you just want to lie on the rug and read the paper so we'll pop that there as well so there's our picnic area all set up to one side of our fairy door for the May fair now what I'm going to show you next is I'm just going to bypass the middle door and I've got this empty space here so another thing that I remember from our um, summer fair days is the coconut shy here we go we've got a sign have a try at the coconut shy but the coconut shy is not there yet so we better make it so I'm going to show you how I do the coconut shy so I'm going to use one of my old favorites for fairy door scenes cereal and this particular cereal, again, not something I enjoy eating, but makes excellent fairy hay bales. So here we go. You can probably also use uh, shredded wheat. You know, the actual big biscuits, not the small shreddies, but the actual big biscuits. They make excellent fairy hay bales. So to make our coconut shy, we need somewhere where they can throw the ball at the coconuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack two hay bales at the back here. I'm going to put one there and one there to make a little horseshoe shape here. So that's where that's it's a bit like a bowling alley. I don't know whether other countries again whether other countries know about coconut shies or whether that's a particularly British or English thing, but it's basically it's bowling. It's bowling at coconuts, which is a little bit random. Um, but you throw your ball at the coconut. And if you knock one off, you win the coconut, which, again, not a great prize in my experience because you then got to work out how to eat it. So <laughs> coconuts. What I've used for coconuts are the mini eggs, mini chocolate eggs that we've just had Easter. So you can still get Cadbury's mini eggs or um, I had these ones still left over because the girls have got so much chocolate that these ones have fallen to the bottom of their chocolate bags um, so I'm using these little tiny wrapped foil chocolate eggs and then of course if your little one wins a prize at the coconut shine they can always eat that little egg so I've stuck them into the little cups that come with um, with your magical picnic set now what you can use use instead of that if you want to use your picnic set for a picnic at your fair and you don't have cups to spare for coconut shies you could always stick that in a, a thimble if you've got some little um, thimbles or what I've used previously is you know those little cake um, birthday cake candle holders if you're very careful and you wedge a lot of blue tack at the bottom to keep them upright you can just about balance a coconut or chocolate egg on the top um, of those. They are slightly more sort of unpredictable, which is why I've not used them this time. But last year, that's what I used um, to balance my coconuts on instead of cups. Obviously, I have quite a few cups here. So I've got one, two, and three coconuts in my coconut shy, ready for the fairies to have a go at the coconut shy so let's put our sign there so that the fairies know 
that that's where they go to play the coconut shy. So I'll just take you in and you can have a little look there. Don't they make the most excellent hay bales, those fairy, <laughs> those little Weetabixes? Cereals are amazing for fairy door scenes. Um, recently, my youngest daughter discovered Cookie Crisp. Have you ever seen Nestle Cookie Crisp cereal? And it wasn't until I was pouring it out in the bowl of your, you know, little tea sets that you go that go with your fairy door and have a little fairy feast, a little milk and cookies session. So keep your eyes out for cereals because they are always just the right size and shape for a bit of fairy fun. So back to our fair and the main event. Now the main event of a country fair in good old Ingerland is maypole dancing. Sometimes Morris dancing also funny but maypole dancing I used to love doing this and my, my old primary school teacher was a lovely old lady and she used to teach the maypole um so we we for some reason we had a huge maypole at our primary school and we used to do it as an after school club so I love the maypole and it's good fun and lots of exercise um so we've got one of our principal signs here now that gives you the timings of each maypole dancing display you see they start just before midnight and then we have a midnight spectacular so you can imagine your fairies dancing around the maypole now i've made this maypole out of um a paper straw a ribbon reel some ribbon i've got one of these little metal buckets that you can get in uh, the craft store um, to wedge it all in and you can find all the instructions how to put that together in my little uh, ebook on the website um, so I'm not going to make that today because that was quite complicated um, to make you'll want to make that in advance maybe do that while they're at school um, before you're going to set it up because the last thing you want to be doing that in the bucket um, later at night so We've got our scene all set up. We've got our um, beautiful new fairy door and flower arch. We've got our picnic area. We've got our um, signs. We've got our coconut shy. And we've got our magical maypole. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I've now been told that I've got low battery on my phone, <laughs> which is a bit inconvenient, isn't it? I should have charged that up. Not very well planned. Um, thank you so much to everyone that's joined me today. I hope you've been inspired to a little bit of a magical adventure with your fairy door. Um, please.